the town of Leggett looked so bare and kind of abandoned, <laughs> um, but we found life in it very quickly. Hi, I'm Becca. This is Glenn, Lily, Weeing, and Sebi. In the summer of 2013, I went through the chandelier drive through tree in the town of Leggett, California for the first time and came back with this souvenir hat. When people asked me about my hat, I realized I'd only driven through. So I decided to go back with my friends and make a documentary about the tiny town with the drive through tree. Confusion Hill is known to be the home of the rare elusive Chipolo. And the story goes that on the trail here on the hillside, there was a couple, this was back when the buffalo roamed and the animal antelopes played, and even in this area. And the antelopes and the chipmunks that are also a local little critter were going by on the path and zappo! They turned into chipolopes. The one with the red nose is Rose, and the other one is Chester. Well, my name's Rebecca. Everybody calls me Becky. I'm not going to give you my last name, okay? We're good about that. I live here, right next door. My husband is slash manager groundskeeper. Confusion Hill itself has been here since 1949. So it's really got some historical significance as being one of the original roadside attractions from that era in our society when are we there yet echoed throughout back seats across all America. The idea was to try to see as many things as possible and places like Confusion Hill were definitely one of the places that they'd, they'd include on their travels. This is not just the house out here. There's something else out here. What they, the scientists gave it was a magnetic vortex anomaly. It's unusual gravity out there. It's, you can't float, like so many people ask. But if you take a compass, a real good compass up there, not a foam compass, go up there, it can pull the compass three degrees off the of norm. It affects people different ways. You know, people who are, get car sick, get nauseated. People with vertigo won't even go near it. When you have a business like this, this is something that you, you, you live. You know, it's the same thing as ranching or whatever. I've raised cattle before too. There's always something to do. You know, you, you don't, you either live it because again, your income is limited to your summer season. You spend your 98% of your time actively uh, enhancing or uh, repairing or building what you have to work with. Uh, we're originally, both of us, from Oklahoma. We didn't even know these trees existed until we came up here and found out these beautiful trees. And I said I wanted to retire here. I got big plans in about 20, 30 years. Well, I should put it this way, I, I'd move no further south. Yes, I need trees around or some space. Um, the ocean has space, but 10 years on the Bering Sea was enough ocean for me for a while. And uh, 
these redwoods are, are so impressive that, yeah, people will always want to come and visit the redwoods. They're, they're just that spectacular. I think of it as special. You know, I feel the, the, the connection here with people, places. It just feels like it's right, like I'm supposed to be here for some reason. And I enjoy talking to people, getting to chatter a lot, <laughs> watching her face over there. <laughs> By staying here and kind of planting our feet in the ground, even just for a few days, we've found that Leggett, while a small town of 315 people, a school of 65 kids, you know, with one gas station and one tree that you can drive through is more than that um, because it, the stories are in the people.